Good afternoon YouTube. It is the 18th of February. It's Sunday afternoon. It's a nice quiet day. Figured let's get the G's done and see what everyone thinks of them. Any questions or any comments please put them below and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Any questions like I said I'm always here. Um, you can always answer me on Facebook as well. I'm on there on, under Blu-ray Bullet Brit as well. Let's get these started straight away. You can see I've got a pile in my hand. Here we go. First we have G-Force. I'm thinking about picking up the steelbook of that one as well. I found it quite cheap, but I ain't bought it just yet. G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra. I thought, they were, I thought that was quite a good film, but then I thought this, the sequel was a jip, got Channing Tatum's in it about two bloody minutes. That was, that was annoying. Mind you, it didn't stop me getting the 3D version. Next we have... Galapagos 3D, another one of the nature ones. Like I said before, I've been collecting quite a few of those lately. I've got to compile a list of those for one of the one of my subscribers has asked for it. Galaxy Quest. If you haven't seen this, this is hilarious. Um, this new Orville that's on Sky, is it on Sky One? I'm not sure. But Orville, really funny. Same kind of thing, except this was done years ago. Well enjoyed that. Next we have Gallo Walkers. It's Wesley Snipes, but I, I just haven't got around to watching it yet, but I do like him. Gambit. Colin Firth and Cameron Diaz. I still haven't watched it. I don't know what it's about. But I like Colin Firth, so I'll pick up most stuff of him. The Gambler, Mark Wahlberg. I love the end of this film. Um, most things are Mark Wahlberg. I like there's only a couple of turkeys out there, I suppose, but I like it. Next we have Game of Death of Wesley Snipes. To be honest, that was a cheapy. I haven't watched it yet. It cost me like 50p, so we'll have to see. If you hear my voice is a bit rough, it's because I feel like crap, but I want to keep going. The game plan. Yeah, before we started pumping iron again. Don't you. Next we have Gamer. I've watched about half of this with Gerard Butler. I wasn't quite sure about it, so I, I might come back to that at another time, really. Let me know if you think it's a good film. Gangs of New York, classic. Leonardo DiCaprio. Quite really violent, that one. Gangster's Paradise. Now, this, this is 50p. Never heard of it. I really haven't even watched it, so. Gangster's Paradise Jerusalem is a full title name. But for 50p, I'm not going to say no. Next. Get Hard. This is one I still haven't watched. I've, I've caught like the last 10 minutes on Sky of it once. But I just haven't seen it yet. I will get around to it. Get him, get him to the Greek. Far honey. I, I like Russell Russell Brand, but you know, a bit a bit too over the top. But I liked it. Get lucky. I haven't actually watched it. It's another it's another gritty British thriller, as they put it. Get Santa. Another Christmas film I'm yet to watch. Get Shorty. This is well funny. I like it. And then we have Get Smart. Pushes the envelope a bit, but not the funniest thing in the world. I've only really got three piles of films here, so my G's aren't the biggest in the world. But we'll get through them. Next we have The Ghost. I like Pierce Brosnan. I haven't watched it yet, but we'll see, we'll see what that's like long term. Ghostbusters 1 and 2. You haven't got that in your collection. What are you doing collecting films? Ghostbusters, and this is 3D extended edition as well. I love this. I, I don't know why people don't like it or what they're hating on it. I mean, I like Mr. McCarthy anyway, but I thought it was quite funny. This is one of my pickups from yesterday. The ghost in, it's Ghost in the Shell, in the Shell Innocence, so, and it's Ghost in the Shell 2.0, so it's a double feature. But I'll be looking forward to watching that. It's got to be better than the, the film. Ghost Rider, as I said before, when I did my Marvel uh, video collection, me and my missus were arguing and walked out the cinema with this one. And believe me, I only picked it up in 3D because I'm a completionist. Next we have Ghost Shark. Oh, what are you going to say about that? Yeah, 50p. Probably a load of crap. Probably never watch it. Ghost Town. I like Ricky Gervais, but he sucked in this. Uh, I've got it just because I like him. But it wasn't, wasn't a good wasn't a good film for him. 
Ghost of Girlfriends Past. I haven't watched it. Or it may have human colorism, but you know, we'll see. Now, if you're as old as me, these are classics. It's a two film still book. So happy I got hold of that. Brilliant film. Films. The Girl Next Door, this is one of my favourite romantic comedies. Brilliant film. Um, the twist at the end is really good. I highly recommend that to anybody. And then we have Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. Hold your horses, mate. Hold your horses. And then we have The Girl Who Played with Fire. Girl Who Kicked a Hornet's Nest. And the remake of Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. Believe it or not, I haven't watched any of them yet. I've heard all the hype about them. It's just getting around to it. I will. I'm just glad they're. I am glad they're in my collection. Next we have the Giver. I haven't got a clue. It's got Jeff Bridges in it, and I like him. So, Gladiator, a classic. Apart from the jumbo jet flying in the background in one scene, we have Glee, season one. We have Glee season two. And early next week, we all, I'll be going Glee, the 3D concert. If I pick that up for like a quid. Next, we have Nomeo and Juliet. This is brilliant. It's so funny. There's a uh, Nomeo um, and Juliet Sherlock Holmes crossover type film coming out as well, which looks just as funny. Go for it. Now, there's a myriad of these dancing films, isn't there? Like, um, what are the other ones called? I can't even remember what they're called. They're in here somewhere, I've got like four or five of them, but that's one of them as well. And then you've got Street Dance, the British ones. But, oh. you then we have God's Pocket. Uh, I've no idea, but Philip Seymour Hoffman, you know, God bless your soul, mate. He's a good actor, and I do like him. Next, we have the original Godzilla. You might hear some voices in the background, that's my daughter having a bath. So, Godzilla, I really enjoyed that. Not as much as I enjoyed. The still book. I mean, this is still worth quite a bit of money. I enjoy it. I think I bought that twice and sold it twice as well. Then we have the new Godzilla. I really enjoyed it. Um, a bit of a rip off the main star, you know, the one who was in Breaking Bad, being in it about 10 minutes before you get squashed. That, that sucked. But I picked it up on a still book in 3D as well. So I really enjoyed that. Going the Distance, another romantic comedy that was 50p, so, you know, why wouldn't I? The Golden Compass. Didn't really understand this. It's like effects for effects sake, and I think Nicole Kidman was, well, crap in it, really. Golden Eye. The this, this N64 games are classic. So is the film. Then we have Goldfinger. This is one of my favourite Bond films, definitely. I think second to Moonraker, maybe. There we go. Then we have Gone Baby Gone. Um, I have to be in the right mood to watch those type of films because, you know, it's to do with murder and all that type of thing. Gone in 60 Seconds. I saw this like three times in the cinema. <coughs> I knew that was coming. The Good Dinosaur. I want to pick this up in 3D. I enjoy, it. I enjoy that film. Um, it's simple. There's not that much dialogue. But the interaction between the kids and the dinosaurs is really good. The Good Kill, Ethan Hawke. Don't have too many of his films, but I'll give it a go. I haven't watched it yet. Good Luck Chuck, get to watch him as well. Gone, Amanda Siegfried. I only picked this one up recently. Um, I've heard good things, but until I watch it, I can't give you an honest opinion yet. Goon. Uh, no, I like Sean William Scott. I think he's funny. I haven't watched it yet. No, there is a sequel out, but I ain't got him yet. Goonies. Yeah. Now, I do have the 30th anniversary anniversary big box set coming as well. So, I'll do a little review of that one, because there's supposed to be some good stuff in that. Goosebumps. 3D Steelbook. Awesome film. Love it. Jack Black is brilliant in this. The effects are cool. The storylines are cool. I really like that film. I have no idea. Grabbers, I grabbed it because it says grabbers. I have no idea other reason why. Imagine it's a bit tongue in cheek, but I'll watch it at some point. Ooh. 
no dropped them. Next we have Gran Torino, it's Clint Eastwood directing, I think. I'm not going to say no to that really, oh yeah, Clint Eastwood's a class. Grave Encounters. My missus hates films where they've got the camera shaking, like Cloverfield and all that. So I hardly ever watch these type of films because she just wants to bash the TV in. But that one and Grave Encounters 2 I have. It'll be a late Sunday night when she's off to bingo or something. I'll have to watch, not watch it because she can't stand them. Next we have Gravity. Now I was surprised by this. Uh, the atmosphere, the lighting, whoa, brilliant film. So much so, even though I haven't watched it yet. Oh yeah, I've got the 3D version as well. Now I was expecting good things on this. I picked this up, Great Gatsby, and I picked it up Steelbook at the same time. I bought two copies. What a pile of crap. So Steelbook's gone. I actually got eight quid more for it than I paid for it. And I kept this one because this was like one pound at the time. So I'm majorly disappointed in that one. Let me know if you disagree. The Great Wall, yet to watch it, but I've heard good things. I saw a little preview on Sky, so it does look good. And I love Matt Damon, so. Green Hornet. A lot of people were a bit, you know, a bit split on this, but I enjoyed it. I mean, Seth Rogen's a pellet. So much so I did buy the 3D as well. Next we have Green Lantern. I love this film. So many haters. And yeah. To the point where I bought the 3D as well. When people say, oh, I hate this film, you make a better one. That's what I say to people. Green Street 1 is called Green Street Hooligans. If anyone on this planet can find it for me and with an English, yeah, English track and in a Blu-ray, please tell me where you've seen it. Because I can't find it anywhere. So I've got Green Street 2 and I've got Green Street 3. But I want the first one. The first one to me is the best. But I'm not buying it on DVD. Green Zone. I like it. And that's where we come into the Steelbook. This you can get at CEX for a quid in Steelbook. So I highly recommend that. I just know these parts are going to fall over. Next we have Gremlins. I want the second one. Anyone can anyone find it in, in the UK for me? Let me know whereabouts it is. I really appreciate it because I want the second one. But the first one, Uber Classic. The Grey. I'm getting a bit pissed off with Liam Neeson. I mean, uh, my stepson's just seen the commuter, and I mean, typecasting yourself slightly. I think you know, um, non-stop when he's on the plane. It's just on a train, exact same bloody thing, if you ask me. Which to me is lazy. Grimsby. Oh, you got. If you, this is so funny, I'm, I'm almost wet myself. I really, really like this. I'm eyeing up the steel book, but it's still a bit too expensive. Groundhog Day. This is a classic film. If you have not seen this, this um, new one that's coming out called Happy Death Day. Um, same kind of premise. It's her birthday each time and she gets murdered. And she keeps going back just like this but that's supposed to be quite good but this is a classic it was done so well you know bill murray just takes the piss grown-ups i like adam sandler but i haven't watched it yet but i have got grown-ups too as well i've heard good and bad things so i'll, I'll, be, I'll wait on that i think grudge match this surprised me i mean de niro and stallone I, I enjoyed it i mean the two old hats had it and the way they pick at each other, uh, you know, just classic, classic rivalry. I really enjoyed it. The Guard. Now this is um, what's his name? Brendan Gleeson. Um, Mad Eye Moody. You know, I haven't watched it yet, but I've heard good things, and it got it got quite a few awards. So it might be something I'll have a little watch of. One of my favourite films of all time, easily in my top five. Guardians of the Galaxy. And yeah, of course I'm going to get it 3D. Now, as for Steelbook, 50 quid still, second hand, so I walk in the house with that in a Steelbook, my missus will cut my dick off, plain and simple. Guardians of the Galaxy 2 Steelbook, this is my favourite film I have in my collection. Brilliant, I absolutely love that film. The Guest, looked cheaply made, looked a bit funny, I got it, but I still haven't watched it. 
colour his travels. I like Jack Black. Not many other people do. But it, I thought it looked that funny that I did. Yes, indeed. I picked it up in 3D as well. Uh, the Gunman, Sean Penn. Most things Sean Penn are quite good. I'm yet to watch this. Let me know if you think it's a good film. Should I be watching him tonight? A classic for all times. Guns, girls, gambling. Uh, I like these the you know, slasher shooting uh, gangster things. So. Last two. This is called Gustav von. Now, this was a cheap one I got off one of these German sites. It, it's like, it looks like three little films in one, or it's a whole series about family and just nuts, basically. I haven't watched it yet, but for the price it was, I thought, why not? I think I was just bumping up an order to a certain amount, so I got three posts. And lastly, the governor. Lenny McLean was in Lockstock, but the character he played, that's what he was in real life. One of the hardest blokes you'll ever meet in your life. Read the book, the governor. Get this. This was one classic bloke. Right arm nut. I mean, look at on the back. He, I can't say enough good about this man. Respect all the way. Now, that's my G's out of the way for now. I'm going to try and post my H's today as well, which I'm looking forward to because that's all me hobbits and that, and I've got so bloody many of them, it's ridiculous. Um, on my next video, I will mention the slip covers from yesterday yesterday's pickups because uh, obviously I'm still getting rid of slip covers watch the original two videos let me know what you guys want not many people are asking now I'm really um, only asking for postage on these so you want 20 of them not a problem a couple of quid postage done you know that's I'm not asking for any profit on this I simply want them to go to good home so I implore you guys have a look at my slip cover videos again and I'll be mentioning a few others in my next video as well. So you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll get this one posted and we'll see if we can get another one done today. Take care.